powder highway filled with powder and good times. All of us live in and around Whistler and uh, we're heading out on the road for two weeks. Uh, gonna go sledding and ride some resorts along the Powder Highway. Look at those kicks. <laughs> Powder Highway is between Revelstoke and Fernie, BC and it's just littered with different resorts and different sled zones and just unlimited places to go explore. Locked and loaded and ready to roll. We're gonna take the northern route of the Powder Highway, so like the northern corner of the route. We're gonna take the trucks uh, from Whistler to Revelstoke, and uh, we're gonna ride the resort and then go sledding in that area. From Revelstoke, we're gonna head to Golden, BC. Um, we're gonna ride Kicking Horse Mountain and check out some sled zones in Golden. We're gonna go from Golden, BC and head 75 kilometers up a logging road to Chatter Creek, where we're gonna camp out and go snowmobiling. Dude, road trips are just key because it's uh, that sense of adventure. You're out and you're exploring. Exploring and getting out of my comfort zone is almost like as fun as the snowboarding. When I think about myself, I think someone who goes out of their comfort zone daily. I'm always pushing myself. No, I'm kidding. I like my warm showers. Some people might say I'm a little soft. My favorite place, Lightfoot Food Mart. Bo, oh, this will go good with the, the red hair. <laughs> The red and the blue. I've always been a white shades guy. You look fast. Bo Bishop fan pack right here. We got a solid crew. Typically there's always that one guy you don't like and he didn't show up this time. Bo Bishop loves boarding. I mean clearly after some of the injuries he's taken. He was told that he could never snowboard again and now he's like shredding harder than ever. He's a ginger. And <laughs> he's probably gonna beat me up for that. Jody Loshniak. He's just a fun guy to be around. He's really entertaining. Always talking, hilarious. He's got wicked style. As soon as he's strapped in, he's someone that is really fun to watch on a snowboard. Not Bill He's just a ninja out there. He just never falls. Every single year, he's never stopped progressing. He's kind of like my older brother, and he's gonna help me through this trip. The highs and lows, Matt will be there. <laughs> Mikey Rance, definitely the legend on this trip. Kind of been pro since he was like 12. Full on backcountry god. Santa Claus that likes to party 24 7. Claims he's a strawberry blonde. <laughs> he's gonna be our tour guide. We just had Hungry Herbies. Matt got a large poutine. We both feel horrible and we're hitting the road. I got a Hungry yeah, Herbie's milk. mug. He's got a milkshake to go. It's actually green tea. It's healthier. Horrible choice. Yeah. Thought. Our men go sand doge. Doge. Did I win or lose? No, no, no. no. You I won. thought I won. I thought <laughs> you won too. <laughs> I won. We need to figure out what the side doge would be. I think this is it. We both got our own <laughs> room and he's in the middle. No. He's got the bad back too. Jody, you should give it to him. Uh, I never really liked Bo. Oh. Nailed it. What side hits today? Keep it organic. Don't panic. <laughs> Very hard right now, boys. Then he grabs the ball, I grab a ball, and he just looks at me and he goes, strike. And he doesn't even look, so I'm like, oh! And he's like, what? He looks and he goes, strike. And we had a moment. That's all right. I'm
single stoke right now. Probably have about over 20 centimeters of fresh. The terrain here is endless. There's so much to explore. There's so many logging roads to go up. Some are discharged, super gnarly roads. Obviously you need a good truck, you need a good sled. never know what you're gonna get with the weather so the best way to do it is just go out and make the best of it. It's about to pop right now. That's what it's called when it comes through the sun it pops. Oh nice one. Pure board man. It's been a little bit challenging, but we're making it happen. I tried this double line, it didn't go so good. Old Jode man could have been taking a fiver. possible to ride in the clouds so yeah you just have to keep yourself occupied until it breaks and hope for some sun. We've been hanging out for a solid hour at least and now it looks like it's breaking up again so we might be able to hit these. We just built two jumps. Me and Bo are gonna rock paper scissors for who goes first kind of hoping I maybe go first. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna go second. Oh. I said first, but I said pop out. Oh. I'm gonna burst into flames if I don't do this. Oh, we got Bojo. Leaving Revelstoke, headed to Golden, puking, and uh, keeping our trip down the Powder Highway going. another town with an awesome ski resort as well as some amazing backcountry that's super accessible. We're gonna ride Kicking Horse Mountain and check out some sled zones in Golden. The terrain's pretty dope here, maybe a little rockier than the coast mountains, but I'm not to this. There's actually just nothing better than when there's good snow and sun. It's the best.
That was hilarious. So much for the days of platonic charm and debate. We used to want, want to stay up late. Elephant in the room. The writing's up on the wall. But then you leave. And that is what you call a yard sale. That was in April. <laughs> Who'd have thought? That's it for Golden. Next stop, Chatter Creek. Chatter Creek, 75 kilometers up a muddy logging road. No cell service, no Wi-Fi, no Instagram, no social media, just snowboarding. It's super rad to not be trapped in a hotel, but I mean, there's ups and downs when you're camping. I mean, sometimes uh, the weather gets kind of cold and your sleeping bag's not the warmest because you bought it 15 bucks and you just have a horrible sleep. But you throw a smile on because the next day you're with your buddies and uh, being up at Chatter Creek is probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. Not much light right now, it's very socked in, so I tend to stick in the trees when it's socked in gives us a little bit uh, better visibility. This is my first time here, I didn't know what to expect, and the mountains are just like towering over you, it's huge. The snow is awesome. I think this is some of the best snow that we've had. camp vibes. You know, some, sometimes it's kind of rough living, but work together and make it happen. Everyone's in this together, kind of what makes it fun.
Overall, the whole trip was just so fun. Um, I think I got a six pack from laughing so hard the whole time. And the crew is just amazing. We had wicked friends, uh, good memories that'll last a lifetime.